Damn, Bama fans. How y'all let a Florida fan evade y'all stadium? Well, not technically evade because I'm not inside, but how y'all let a Florida fan be within inches of the stadium? That's Brian Deer Stadium. You don't see the Alabama logo? Yeah. I'm within walking distance of Brian Denny Stadium right now. First time I came out here, I was within a mile away. And then I made that left and went to the Hounds too. But right now, I'm just within walking distance. It's closed right now, so I can't really go in. I'm not really trying to look for the, the statues or anything. I know they got the Nick Saban, Bear Bryant, Gene Stallard statue, but yeah. This is time for the series finale of Monday Vibes. A fizzle within walking distance of Brian Dean Stadium, home to the Alabama Crystal Tide football team, or as I like to call them, the college football bandwagon nation. And it sounds like you're doing some work in there because I'm, I'm hearing a lot of shit in the background because they wouldn't be doing shit else here. There's no gang going on. So, yeah, I'll just figure out evade this son of a bitch for once, you know. Literally evade it. Y'all see that? I don't know. Oh, wait, I can't. I can't zoom in this version, but yeah. I'll, I, I'll give you a little bit more of a close-up right quick. Before, uh, that way you know this is truly Brian Denny State. Well, Alabama fans already know this, but we're well, the true ones, though. The Bandwagon fans wouldn't know this shit from my arm. Um, if shit came on their ass. But yeah. There you go. Yep. Yep, they are working on it here, so. Yeah, there you go. Brian Denny Stadium, right there. Oh, and fuck your team. I will always hate Alabama football forever. That's my most hated team in sports, Alabama football. But I will fake y'all for beating Georgia a couple weeks ago in the SC title game and shutting them bastards up. They're getting a little too cocky over there across the state line. We gonna win the national championship. Oh wait, I forgot. We got that monster right there called Alabama. We can't beat them. Hey, Florida can't beat them either, but at least if, if we're gonna lose to Bama, we make sure it's in a year that uh, Florida's not gonna do shit. Y'all, you see, Georgia, on the other hand, they lose to them in a the year they're going to do something. So, but yeah, just want to show y'all that. So, on with the Monday vibes. What's good, everyone? A Phil's here tuning with y'all for this 52nd installment of Monday Vibes for Monday, December 27th, 2021. And not only is this the 52nd installment of Monday Vibes, this is the final episode of Monday Vibes, the series finale, which means after this, there'll be no more Monday Vibes. We made it to the finish line, people. Now, I did record Monday Vibes earlier this morning, and I went on a soliloquy about something, and I did not want to make that a part of Monday Vibes, so I just decided to do the whole thing over. And first and foremost, just so y'all know, me and Mother Nature gonna fight if it continues to hunt me down with these up and down temperatures. Last week, it was like 30-something degrees. Well, it wasn't 30, it was 40-something degrees. Now, today is mid 70s and it's going to be like this for the next three days until it rains then the temperature is going to plummet by new year's and it's going to be cold for early next week i don't know what the outcome will be around my birthday hopefully it'll be a steady cold speaking of cold hope everyone had a good christmas I wish i could say i had a good christmas but like i said you know i've been under the weather the last couple of days and i spent most of my christmas in bed rest i did go see my aunties though and my family, I should say, I went to go see my family, but I was out of it. Like, I was zoned. I was, and, yeah, that's what happens when you're under the weather. It just takes a lot out of you, you know. You know, normally you're this type of person. Now, all of a sudden, you're not because, like, it's weather, man. But, yeah, hope everyone had a good Christmas. It's over. So, as y'all know, we here at A-Fils Productions will be taking down our Christmas stuff this week. We don't leave it up to January 1st, unlike some people we know. Twitch is on. It's just not my doing, you know, leave it down to January, leave it up to January 1st. I find out no reason because 
that's Christmas, and we're talking about New Year's. But yeah, hope y'all had a good Christmas. Speaking of New Year's, let's get into it. Obviously, got some New Year's Six Bowl games coming up. I don't know all the matchups, so I'm not going to go through it all. I do know Ohio State is playing Iowa. I think Oklahoma may be in a uh, New Year's Six Bowl game. Like I said, I don't know. So let's get into the main two games that everybody's been talking about. Yes, I'm still done with this, by the way. The college football playoff. This Friday, New Year's Eve, we got Alabama taking on Cincinnati. Now, I feel like Alabama is going to win this game, but y'all know me. I hate Bama with a passion. That's my most hated team in sports. So right off the rip, I am going for Cincinnati. But I do think Alabama is going to win this game. Now, as far as Georgia and Michigan, I struggled with this in the morning. I was really undecided. But now, I do. I am rooting for Michigan. Don't get me wrong. But now I think about it, I think Georgia is going to win that game. I, the thing is, I know people are questioning whether to trust that offense with um, Stetson Bennett. I don't think Michigan has went up against a really good defense like Georgia's. And I know people want to look at the SEC title game against Alabama, you know, when Georgia gave up 41 points. But I'm going to tell you all this. If y'all think Georgia is going to give up 30 or 40 some odd points like that, just back-to-back -back games, you're sadly mistaken. I don't think it's going to be a high-scoring game at all. Now, if Michigan does get into the 30s, I think they will win. But I don't see Michigan get into the 30s. And there has been games where Michigan has been held to under 30 points. I think the Michigan State game is a prime example. I think they lost that one 27 to 24. So I can see Georgia winning that game. So my prediction is going to be Alabama and Georgia in the national title game. Obviously, Alabama beating Georgia once again and leaving Georgia fans all pissed off in their feelings. <laughs> and that would be funny to me. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's enough about that. Uh, New Year's, it's coming Saturday. What am I doing for New Year's Eve? I'm gonna be with the family again. I'm gonna be honest. New Year's Eve is like the one holiday. It is my favorite holiday. Don't get me wrong. New Year's Day and I, and I'll explain that in just one second. But New Year's Eve to me, is like that one holiday that I would not get out. And if I do, I'm not. I'm definitely not driving, because the police are really out here on these streets on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, and Fourth of July. Those are like the three major days that the cops are really out here. And last thing I want to do is start the new year in jail. I'm confident I can get home, but with more police officers out there, they be looking for people just to pull over for no reason. So I'm not taking that chance. If I go somewhere, I'm taking Uber, but chances are I'm probably going to be with the fam anyway. If I do get out, it's going to be early in the day, you know, get my drink on. Some places will be open on New Year's Eve and then just be out the way by eight or maybe drop my car off at the house and Uber. But chances are I'm going to be with the family, so I don't think that's going to matter much anyway as far as like, oh, what I'm going to do for New Year's Eve. But my New Year's resolutions, I don't have any. Why? Because I am superstitious, but I don't want to commit myself to anything. I know I'm not going to follow up on it, so I just decided not to do any New Year's resolutions anymore. I did when I was younger. I never followed through with them, so I just stopped doing it. I'm going to tell you all now. Working out was not one of my New Year's resolutions. A lot of y'all kill me with the um, with, with one of y'all New Year's resolutions be working out. Hell, if, if it was meant for you to work out next year, you already started this year. So I don't want to hear anything about, oh, my New Year's resolution is to work out more. Bullshit. Don't lie to yourself and don't lie to the American public. We know it's good. Don't even try it. But I am looking forward to the new year, 2021. It was an okay year, you know. I hate the fact that I got under the weather three times. I think I think I got under the weather four times. I think I got under the weather one time back in March or April, if I'm not mistaken. But definitely three times in the last four months. And twice in this month. That's not how I wanted to end the year. And just as I was talking about, well, this may be the happiest time I've been since pre, uh, before therapy, which I will be going next month somewhere or February. Just I was starting to bloviate about that. Mother Nature hits me twice with two colds. One of them started in late November and it carried on to December. But like, God damn, Mother Nature, give me a fucking break. I hate being sick. I hate having colds. And I hate being under the weather. You think I enjoy doing this shit? You think I enjoy getting medicine and shit? 
Yeah, that's me sitting next in there. You think I enjoy taking that shit and robot testing and all that? I don't. What you want me to do, Mother Nature? You want me to become a pill popping junkie? Like, cut that shit out, Mother Nature. Damn. Well, hopefully next year I can cross my fingers I can make it through the entire year without under the weather symptoms. And I have looked up some things that could have contributed to it. And some of it could be my own fault. Like, one of them is, like, leaving the window open a long time. I realize, you know, you don't want to leave the window open a long time because you don't want to breathe all that air in from out there because that can hit you, too. So, so I'm going to try to scale back on that next year. If I got a New Year's resolution, there it is right there. Not open the window. Well, I don't open these windows unless I'm in the drive through But don't open this window too tough. That could be why. But I'm taking advantage of it because it's a great feature, for one. And two, it, it is sunny a lot down here in the summertime. So why not? But yeah, that's what... But that's about it for us. Like, oh, but... Dang. But yeah, something to really ponder about for myself. So as far as next year, don't open this up too much. I don't open it up at all when it rains. So y'all gotta worry about that. I don't want my inside of the car to be wet. And I gotta make sure this is closed when I go to the car wash. Which... This, because Shawna is due for a car wash. She hasn't been to a legit car wash since October, I think. Yeah, since uh, early October. This the last time I got her washed. And I was thinking about getting her washed uh, last couple of weeks. But every time I think about it, it'll rain like two or three days later. And I'll be like, thank God I didn't do it. And I wanted to go this week. It's going to rain three days later. And I just don't know, man. I just got to keep look out for the weather and see what will be a good time to take her to a car wash because she's long overdue. Long overdue. Going on three months. And I do got to clean these, uh, do got to clean the uh, windows at the very minimum. I think I can get that done now, so. Whew. But yeah, what a ride, y'all. 2021 about to come to a complete close in a couple of days. But yeah, that's pretty much going to do it, yo. I appreciate everyone who rode with A-Fuzz Productions throughout this series of Monday Vibes that really started off in November of last year and rolled into the holiday season last year. I consider that preseason. And then roll with me throughout the entire calendar year. I, I'm i proud of myself. Even though this is not my favorite series, I got to a point where I was tired of Monday Vibes. You can hear my voice, I was tired of Monday Vibes. But... I told myself going into this year, towards the end, I, at the end of last year, I told myself going into this year, I was going to be committed to doing Monday buys for an entire calendar year unless I pass away. And I'm still breathing, and I did it. Because I have true life. Started out off in 2011, I think, 2010 or 11, and then I just stopped doing those videos. Y'all already know what true life is about. Just go back to the intro video if you want to know what true life is all about. Virtual Avenue. I kind of put that on hold because a lot of the celebrity talk got implemented into certain episodes of Monday Vibes. So, but Venture Avenue will be starting back up next year, though. That episode, that series will never die. And I don't know what season I'm on. I guess it'll be season three because I think I did um, start up a season two. I may be wrong, though. But if it's not a season two, then I'll start up season two next year. So, but yeah, Venture Avenue will be coming back. There'll be more countdowns. I still got to do the uh, SEC video in my top 20 moments as a Bronco fan. I still have to do those. I've been holding those off about over a year now, so I need to get on the ball with those. Uh, there'll be more LaCribs, obviously. There'll be more game streams. There'll be no Broncos game streams on the rest of the year. Reason being because, like, this upcoming week, you know, Broncos are playing the Chargers. I may go to Hooters for that game, for one. And two... Uh, it's right around New Year's, and I kind of want to spend the New Year's streaming, so that's another reason. And week 18 is on my birthday weekend. I already made it official. I'm not doing anything on YouTube my birthday weekend. I'm not. I may do some videos from my birthday weekend, but you won't see those till later on down the line. I'm not doing any lacrils on my birthday, no birthday streams, none of that. Now, Selena and Wade High is supposed to be coming down here in two weeks. I don't care what they do on their channels. They can stream Eagles, Cowboys, and Falcons, Saints. They can stream their BFL streams in the hotel room when I'm not there all they want. But when I'm there, I'm not streaming a motherfucking thing, and they're going to put the cameras up. We can take pictures and all that. You can take pictures, but we're not doing any streams around me. 
I don't want any strings on my birthday. Leave it at that. So, yeah, week 18, the Broncos are playing the Chiefs that week. So, yeah, I'm not streaming that game either because I'm, I'm committed to not streaming on my birthday. I don't want to do that. So, And the only way you're going to get another Broncos stream is if they make the playoffs. That's not happening. You lose to the Raiders, get swept by them, and fall to 7-8 and eight when you're just 7-6. and six. Yeah, you're not going to playoffs. It's only a matter of time before the Broncos are mathematically eliminated anyway. So, so you can say goodbye to the Broncos streams until next season, which opens up college basketball. I like to stream some more college basketball games. We'll see. College baseball be coming up in a little over a month. I'm, I'm excited about that. You know, so we got some stuff coming up here at A-Fuzz Productions. We're not done. I may take me a little break after the new year. Take me a good little break, you know, from the action, from YouTube. Because, you know, next week will be the first official week that I don't have to make any videos. Like I said, I will do those countdown videos soon. But I'm, I may take me a break for a while after this week, for sure. I need that break. After making a video about 57 straight weeks in a row, that's including the, the preseason Monday vibes from 2020. I need a break in the action. So, well, I probably won't get one too soon because I do got some Drake reviews coming up. Um, Mystery Drake review is coming up Thursday. I'm not telling you what it is. Just watch. And then I will do another Drake review. I'll probably do that one. I'll probably record that one later on this week. And then upload that. Well, I'll probably upload that later on this week as well, but I probably will premiere it after my birthday. So I say after that drink review, uh, which will probably be like the middle of January, then I'm going to take me a long, legit break. Not a long break, but a long enough break so I can get a little breather in the action, you know? See how it feels to not have to make a YouTube video. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to take me a break. Whew. A well-deserved break at that, too on top of that but yeah i'm just relieved that monday vibes is over the series is over and like i said i am appreciative for everybody who shared it who watched it commented liked i'm appreciative of all that and i'm just relieved that it's over so but yeah i'm gonna get up out of here so y'all be easy till next time a fizzle signing out and you don't have to come back next time for a 53rd installment of Monday Vibes because there will be no 53rd installment. This is it. So, yeah. Hope everyone had a good Christmas, like I said, one more time. So, till next time, A. Fizzle signing out. Holla at y'all later. If you don't hear from me the rest of the week, y'all have a safe and happy new year. And do not start on 2022 behind bars. With that being said, if you go out, be responsible. If you go to drink, have a cutoff time. Like if you feel like you're gonna go home in an hour, stop drinking in that last hour. Get you some water, get you some soda, get you something to eat, to chow all that food, all that liquor down, that alcohol down, so you can sober up and get home. If you are gonna drink and drink your ass off, get you a designated driver. Have somebody chauffeur you around. That's doesn't drink or is not going to drink that way you can drink your ass off and get home safe if you don't have a specific designated driver you got uber you got lyft you got taxi cabs don't be afraid to use them there's no shame in using the uber i've used them in the past no shame in using the lyft also use those in the past no shame in using taxi cabs i also use those in the past because you're going to get from point a to point b with no problem because pretty much every taxi driver and Lyft and Uber driver is going to be sober for the most part. So, yeah, just play it responsibly. Don't get behind the wheel if you're drunk. I don't want anybody to start the year off behind bars. It's not serious. It's not worth it. I'm telling y'all now. So, but yeah, y'all be easy. I'm out. Holla at y'all later. And by the way, hashtag fire Pat Sherman. And Vic Fangio, if you don't get your shit together and grow some balls and tell Pat Sherman to get his shit together, then I'll be back to do a hashtag fire Vic Fangio too. A uh, more Vic Fangio on my Facebook page. I did see what he said today. The nerve of his comments. I'll let y'all later.